Hey everybody, Kubus967 here, and we're looking at the Xbox One version of Subnautica here. I'm doing the uh, the 60 minute trial, and we're gonna see what this game's about. Um, you've seen me do tons of uh, video on the PC version. I thought we'll check out the uh, Xbox One version in their preview mode. Wait, this game is pre-release, so this means parts of this game, including Xbox Live features like chat and multiplayer. Uh, might not function as expected, or not function at all. The game might even crash. Because this is pre-release, Microsoft and the publisher do not commit to provide, providing... Huh. That's interesting. We're going to press the pen menu e options here. Oh. Oh, cool. Cool, this looks cool. This is, uh, they hasn't been updated in a while, but that's okay. Um, the PC version, I do want to do more videos on that. Uh, there's tons of, they did a little minor update. So let's, uh, let's see what they've done. Oh, wow. Okay, it shoots up a, um, the Edge browser here. So I, I really enjoyed their, uh, their feedback of this game. Well, initial release at 710. Interesting. Let's get, pop back into the game. But yeah, what Subnautica is, is a, okay, play the trial, is a underwater kind of survival game. Let's turn down the music a little bit. Come on. Is it, there we go. That's weird. Right stick for turning that down. And what kind of controls do we have here? Just kind of, kind of like rudimentary stuff. At least you got like uh, jump, just straight up. Huh, cool. Go and then um, let's start up a new game. Cool, you got creative, hardcore, survival. That's pretty cool. That's uh, all you need. We're gonna just check out the creative to see what this game actually has. So the the premise of this game is you're in this ship and it gets shot down from some reason and you're really just kind of like surviving. Um, over the course of like a couple years now, they've been updating it, adding features. Um, most notably, they've added like the the um, the moon pool, which I thought was really cool. They expanded the biomes a lot more. Added a bunch of new creatures into the game. Uh, added stuff to two of the islands that populate the world. The world is finite, but like you can keep on going type of finite, which kind of sucks. Um, I, I would be really cool if they like added some sort of like procedurally generated or so. I don't know, because it. On one side of the ship, it's practically void of anything except sand, and the other side, side, it's just lush. And so, like, it's it's really hard to do an underwater game. Um, the forest is very similar in a way. It's like very vibrant, very colorful up close, but when you go far out, it doesn't look that good. Um, and of course, that's set on an island, so you really just you know have nowhere to go. You know, you're on an island, but in here, you can just. Um, Go anywhere, and for a while there actually is still like a like a cliff too, that will just like go down to the deepest. Usually, the, even on PC, the first load does take a while to load. So we've been going on for about a little over a minute here. I've heard that uh, putting um, you having a uh, external USB three hard drive can be a little bit faster. From what I've known is that the hard drives in the Xbox One and the PC and uh, previous generations it's a it's a 2.5 millimeter drive that runs at 500 or 5400 RPMs, which is relatively slow. Hey, okay, whoa! Okay, usually this loads up really fast, slowly. Okay, well, control button A. It looks pretty good. It's a little framey. Okay. Well. Yeah, it just looks like a, maybe running at 720p, not the best, but it seems the. Seems pretty cool. Maybe like at a, uh... Okay. There's lead. Yeah, this is actually not bad. If you, if you have, um... 
an Xbox One and you're looking for, like, just first impressions. This looks pretty cool. So let's see what we got here. Okay, that's options. Is this going to bring up the menu? Okay, so what kind of blueprints do we have here? Lasers, we could build all that stuff. Uranium. So did you have the uh Did they have the recent power? No, they still don't have what the hell? An exosuit? Crap. Huh. So they do have a lot of stuff here. Reinforced dive suit. So they do have the new power plants. Cool, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. This is uh pretty similar. Uh, patch polarity. Scanner room. Yeah, so they even have the scanner room. That's cool. They got all sorts of stuff. Nuclear room, bioreactor, some chairs, vending machine. Yeah, this is actually very recent. Like, maybe in the past, you know, few months. That's really cool. I've also heard that, um, they have, like, be with the power of the Xbox being significantly worse than, you know, the mid-range PC... Well, not significantly. It's 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 not the best. They have allowed. They've learned like techniques from the Xbox how to optimize that to optimize lower end PC, uh, lower end PCs, which is kind of cool. So let's um. Okay, let's let's see here. How do we? Okay, this is just up and down. This is this. I'm using the bumpers right here. It actually controls pretty smoothly. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. So that's right bumper. Y does nothing. What is that? Does it do anything? Is there anything here? So this is item selection. This is my habitat builder. Here's the, uh, whoa, framey, framey. But yeah, this is actually pretty neat. Still suffers from frame rate, but they could easily fix that. Okay, so up, it's just to, uh, it's just to, uh, unequip it. Okay, left stick does nothing, I mean, row, pushing down on the stick does nothing. Yeah, control's actually relatively good, because, I mean, it is like a, um, really like a, kind of a flight game in a way, too. So you can just, like, you know, go into here, and can you even, let's see here, invert controls. Whoa. Yeah, it's loading in assets just as fast as it was on PC, though it is running at a slower frame rate. Not as fast, actually, it seems like. So let's, um... Let's go. Let's build some things here. So we're gonna need a foundation. Let's see how this does. Okay, so this is just A. Okay. Power restored. Power restored. All and then can we just remove it with a B? Online. Or X? Y? Just think it's nope. Nope. Ah, dang it. Let's see here. Okay, what was the button again? It was this? Nope. Yeah, no. Uh let's see. We let's build another foundation here. It snaps pretty good. So we're just using A. Then what we're gonna build, we're gonna build a multi-purpose room. I, I keep on trying to put the trigger to, um, so it, what is it, B to deconstruct, I guess? Hmm, I guess once it's done, ooh, assets are, textures are not that sharp. Yeah, not the sharpest. But at a distance, I mean, like, it looks pretty fine, unless you get real close. It's still, like, a gorgeous-looking game. 
definitely running at a lower resolution. Let's see here. And then let's uh, build a hatch. I'll put it right here. And then press B to. Yeah, we go. Hatch, hatch, hatch. There we go. And. Oh, wait, what the hell? I guess I, you have to get real close or something? Weird. Get in. Cool. Let's see here. It's... Got water for purification. Scanner room. Then we got power plants. Ooh, wow, they even changed how solar panels look. Thermal plant. Reactor. Let's go with the nuclear right here and just. Wow, that was. Go. And then I think. I think we could just spawn in our own stuff here. Where's the nuclear? Hmm. That's my inventory. Oh, I, I might. What was it? Okay, let's. I think I need a fabricator. Go fabricator, and then what else? Let's see what we need. I got some beds, some power cell chargers. That's pretty cool. Wow, man, there's some stuff that I haven't even played. Um, there's a modification center. Oh, man, I keep on wanting to put the trigger. There we go. There we go. Personal stuff. Ooh, it's a little bit hard to read. That's, uh... It was also a little bit weird on the, um... Oh, wow, this is... Not the best. Here we go. Put the uranium. Where do I put it? Wait, how do I? Ooh. What the heck? Okay. The heck? How do you move this? To equip, but I'm not trying to equip it. Okay, let me let me try. I've I've never actually used the power re uh, reading power plant. I'll just use a um. Let's get another one, and we'll just use a uh. Bio reactor, and there's an egg right here actually too, so I'm gonna pick up. It still controls, like, it, while you're in the water, it actually controls pretty well. So I needed a bioreactor. Here we go. Then, right here. How do you... How do you, like, do this? Nope. Maybe... I'm in creative or something? That's why B just pulls that out. Trigger to switch container. Oh, wow. I'm dumb. Huh. Well, I'm really dumb. I didn't even see that. Is it there right there? No. I wonder if this is not the right stuff. Nice little go there. Jesus, the textures are bad. Cool. 
Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, get in some other stuff here. Let's see here. Can I construct anything else here? No, I gotta use the, um... That's what we got here. Oh, yeah. Sea mouth upgrades. The heck? Ultra. Fins. Battery upgrades. Double the energy of a standard battery. The heck is that noise? So we need that, the mobile vehicle. Reinforced. Huh. I wonder if it's a bug, that's what I'm hearing. Scanner. Deployables, current generator, waterproof locker. Cool. What the heck was that? Jesus Christ, that was loud. Let's see here. We just oh, I made two. That's cool. Uh, to drop. There we go. What the hell was going on? Holy crap. I pissed off something. Oh, oops. Thought I was... Okay, let's, uh, control A to assign it, okay. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got Seamouth. Jesus. And then Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. Little framey, little framey. Whoa. Yeah, this is uh, straight up Subnautica. It's not the best version, but hey, if 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 I mean, it, I, I would recommend this because it is an early access, so it's always you know. You can always down the change, but it seems like it's up with um, patch polarity, which is real nice. Um, there is no plans for a. Uh... What the heck? Where am I? There is no plans. Well, I haven't heard anything about multiplayer, so it would be cool. I don't know how they would do it though. Um, I don't know. I like just. If you've seen any of my Subnautica videos, definitely uh, check those out. Whoa. Jesus. Scared the crap out of me. This is kind of a scary game sometimes, especially in the dark. It can get real dark. And I have no idea what's going on with the uh, with the sounds. But let's see if we can uh, end this with a Leviathan. Reaper Leviathan. I, I usually know where they hang out. But yeah, it, it, I mean, it seems to run out of lower, it's going to be a compromised uh, version of Subnautica, but it's still like a pretty good game. Um, I mean, I don't really don't see anything bad with it. Yeah, it is in like a, um, you know, it, it's, I do say if you do have a PC that's modularly, you know, anything within the past, you know, four years, maybe buy it there. It is on Steam. It is on Early Access. 
Um, but they're kind of, like, slowing down on updates in terms of what you're going to get. It would be nice to, like, I don't know, have, like, a lot more, more open-end. Yeah, it seems like the audio might... Audio might be bugged or something. Holy crap. I mean... You're, uh... Jesus, that's really loud. Your mileage may vary differently. I mean, you could have a better experience, or you could even have a worse experience. Um, uh, of course, this is in their, like, preview build on Xbox One. And anything that... That, um... You know, it sometimes it can fail. Sometimes it's not gonna happen, but... It's, it's a game that's been on the early access for Steam for a while. It's, it's one of my, like, hey, early access is not 100% bad. There's a lot of good things here, and Subnautica is one of them. And, you know, I, I really hope that they, maybe 2017 is the year they finally release this game and sort of sort of finish content. Um, you know, maybe throw in some multiplayer later on. Uh, you know, it doesn't need it. It, I, I sure say would say it really doesn't need it, uh, but it is a really cool game, and it's really cool that this is finally on Xbox. Holy shit, dude! It's a. Uh... I mean, oh, gorgeous textures, gorgeous textures. It's like a low version, I bet. I mean, it's, it's, it's also a game that uses uh, VR. It has Oculus support, too, which is really cool. Holy mother of God. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Usually, this is the Aurora. Usually, it's a Leviathan over here. Mushroom trees. Whoa! Oh! Holy crap, that actually sounded really scary. Fuck, dude. Part of my language, but holy shit, that is like scary just hearing footsteps. <laughs> Reaper Leviathan should be around here, or something should be here. Jesus. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. But yeah, this seems actually to be a um, a really complete package compared to the PC. It might be missing some things. Uh, I noticed that there was the uh, exosuit, but I don't know if it's actually in the game. In the game, you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's. Oh, Jesus. It is a slightly compromised video video game, but I do do recommend uh, at least try the um try try it because you, you get 60 minutes this is the preview build and just just screw around it, you know, play the survival and it's a pretty good survival game. Like it's it's up there. It's um it is kind of You know, it's it does suck that I'm just constantly hearing sounds that there's nothing around me. So your mileage for very, I really don't have any more to say other than um, let's actually just get out of here, quit. Oh, there's a save function too. Um, but yeah, there's there's freedom which allows you to you won't die. Or, I mean, you your oxygen doesn't matter. Let's see, quit. Let's get out of there. Quit. Whoa.
We're gonna crash? Okay, cool. So you got survival, which is everything like your hot health, oxygen. You also need food and water, uh, which is a uh, thing. But it's not a permanent death. Freedom, you just need to worry about your health and water. Um, then hardcore is if you're dead, you're dead. That save is gone. I've done a stream on that on the PC version. And then we were just in creative, which nothing really matters and all that stuff. But it's fun to play around. If you're looking, if you're thinking about like time-wise of uh, like how much content you can get out, usually I get between 10 to 12 hours um, in terms of content. Usually you're kind of building up. The early part can get a little bit slow. Uh, it usually takes a couple hours to st to get going, but I feel like once you start, like once you get your sea moth, once you get some some sort of uh, transportation, this this game really. Um, really expands and uh, it's a beautiful game it's a little bit sad that there's a lot of bugs here that I'm noticing and it does run at a uh, lo lower frame rate than, than than I would like but it's still I, I still think this is a great game anyways Jesus Christ this music anyway, this, this, okay it's kind of reset here there we go but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Subnautica Xbox on the Xbox One. I do recommend you try it out. Just try it out. You have nothing to lose. This is part of the pre preview build. Um, I definitely want to do more Subnautica, more on the PC, as it's easier to record and and it's a little bit smoother. Anyways, as always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like this uh, video, make sure to tell me in the comments. Tell me uh, any tips you have and uh, ask it for tips, too, either on PC or on Xbox. Uh, and as always, guys, follow me on Twitter at Caboose967. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, guys, see you around.